Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing design tutorial in Adobe XD. Today we're designing an animation which follows the cursor wherever it goes. So as you can see, this slice of pizza just keeps on animating and following my cursor. So if you want to try something like that, it'll take us less than seven minutes. So without further ado, let's just get started with this tutorial. Now, once you come into the document right here, first we will need to place some text in, which is the food text. I'll click on the T key on the keyboard and I'll press anywhere here and I'll type in food in caps, all in caps, make sure that it's that. And if I click on this text, there is a little circle at the bottom. If I drag this out like this, the text automatically becomes bigger. Now I'm using a font called Ninito Sans. It's probably my favorite font, but you can use any like and you like. I will change it from regular to black italic. That means it becomes this thick text and also it becomes italic. I want to change this to a color which is purple. I will basically click on this fill right here and I'll bring my cursor right here so that it changes colors in this spectrum. And this purple, I want it to be slightly bright like this. Now, once you have something like this prepared, all you need to do now is insert the pizza. Now, there is this really cool 3D icon pack on UI8.net. I will give a link in the description so that you can download this. As you can see, it is paid, but if you click on this preview, below preview, you will have something which says demo. For the pizza, we just need this demo. I'll click on direct download and it will download it as a zip file right here. Once you have extracted that zip file, you will have a folder like this. Go inside that folder. Inside this folder, you have other various folders. In this case, we want PNG. If I double click and enter, you have three variants, a colored pizza, white and black. But in this case, we want the colored. So I'll go back to Adobe XD, open the same folder here and drag this pizza in here. Awesome. Now, of course, this pizza is way too big for our liking. So what I'll do is make it much, much smaller. There's no particular size, but let's just say slightly larger than this O right here that we have. Just slightly larger than that. Looks good. Now, I will also make sure that it's center aligned. Perfect. And also, I will give this a shadow. If I click on this image, go to shadow here, I'll change the Y value to 12 and I'll change the B value, which is blur to 24 looking good. Now also increase the shadow by a little bit. Yes, increase the opacity a little bit looking good. Now for the background, we want a texture of a table where uh, food items are placed. So I found this image on free pick, which looks really good. So all you need to do is right click on this image, I will have the link in the description. Of course, if I right click and say copy image, I go back to Adobe XD. And then I will just paste it say command V or control V to paste it right here. Now to place it at the bottom, I will go to the layers panel on the left here and drag the image to the bottom like this under food. Awesome. Now you have this really cool looking food order food online. I will change the order and online text to a white. Okay. As you can see, I have placed two other things, this little kitchen knife, as well as a little search bar here, you, which you can resize according to your project like this and make sure everything is centered. Everything looks good and we are ready to go with the experiment. Before we, before we actually prototype this, I will click on this artboard here. I will go to the left, this to this plugins panel right here and under plugins panel, I will find a plugin called Anima. If you haven't installed Anima before, go to this plus icon on top and click on this little search bar and search for Anima. That's all and you have to install it. Once you have done that, come back, click on Anima. And in this case, I want to select the artboard completely. I want to go to an option which says embed code. And under embed code, I want to change the tab to this website here, right here. Now the next step is just to follow along with me. I will give a link to this Google Docs in the description below so that you can access this code. The first step is to actually select the top line, which is script SRC. And there's some code here. I'll just say command C or control C. You do not need any coding knowledge or background for this. I will just paste this here where we had started earlier. And as you can see, one line of code has already been added. I will go back and I will copy the second set of code. So go from the first line of code, which is script to the last line of code, which ends at script as well. And I'll just say control C or 
command C to copy this. Going back to Adobe XD, I will place this text right below, right here, and that is awesome. The code won't work yet because we need to do one last step before we make the code work. I will go, I'll click on this artboard here and I'll click on preview in browser. Of course, it will ask you to start a new project or use an existing project. In this case, I'll just say new project and I'll name my project as pizza follows mouse. And that's about it. And I'll say select workplace. I'll click on personal. That's cool. Now I'll click on create. Once it creates the project, make sure you again click on preview in browser and it will basically start loading something here. Once the loading is done, you will see a window on top like this. Just click on open. This will basically open a new window in your web browser. Now, once it opens, as you can see, this pizza does not follow along with me. What is wrong with it? Now, if I click on, if I right click on this pizza and I say inspect, that is all we need to do. And on the right, there will be a image which will be highlighted, this image class. And under class, there will be this text written which says pizza dash some random number. If I double click here, I need to copy this name. So in this case, I'll just copy this pizza C61RWL, some random name which has been given. I'll say Command C or Control C. And I'll go back to my Adobe XD document. I'll go back to embed code and under embed code, I'd go back to website. Here, there is at the bottom something that says cursor. I will replace this cursor with whatever the name has been given. So I'll just paste the name that I had copied from here. Make sure there is a little dot below this name right here. That's perfect. And I'll click on save. Of course, once this is saved, I will click on preview in browser. That's about it. Now, as you can see, the pizza now follows along. This could be anything. This could be a little rocket. This could be a circle, a square, a triangle, anything that could be following my mouse. How cool is this? I, I never knew Adobe XD could do something like this, but well, I experimented and I came up with this. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post every Monday and Thursday. If you like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up to this video and I'll see you next time. Same time, same place. God bless.